The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everybody. We're back. And gosh, wow, have I got a show for you today. It has been a week. And I want to say thank you to everyone that asked and hello to everyone in the chats that are showing up. We already have a few showing up in our YouTube chat for our live stream over there. If you want to see what that's all about, you can go to my website, jenroyster.com, or my YouTube channel, just Jen Royster. Also, we're live streaming and video live streaming with Facebook through our network, Transformation Talk Radio. Uh, you can find that on their page, and it is also shared on my two Facebook pages. So TTR, Transformation Talk Radio, will help me out with anything that comes through over there. But hello, I see everyone over in YouTube and I want to say good morning to all. And we already have a question about last week's crazy because you guys know it was a tough one for me last week with my dog, Emmy. Uh, she had really injured her nail, which on a 100-pound Kita is a pretty big nail, and everybody's asking how she's doing. She's doing great. I was a mess when the vet showed up because that was pretty much having to clip that most of that off. And, uh, you know, just think about it. When you cut them too short, and this was way short because they cut all the way back to where the quick is or where the um, break is, so that was kind of a lot. Uh, we had to do the sock and the waterproofing for going around the neighborhood for about five or six days, but we are finally past that and she's resting very comfortably and we're all good. So, you know, that might seem basic to some people, like it's just a nail. Mm, it's kind of different the way theirs grow. And if you're empathic and you have a relationship with animals, which I do, which is why we're doing this one today, because another one that lined up synchronicity wise with this show was Ariel, Archangel Ariel was helping me with Emmy with all of that. And Ariel is a healing angel with nature and animals, also helps us too, but does also work with Archangel Raphael. And it all kind of ties together with healing. And let me tell you, they helped me out a lot. And then I got to thinking, I go, you know, We've been getting a lot of messages from nature and we've been getting, uh, receiving a lot of messages from animals, nature, you name it. So I asked Ariel, do you have anything you want me to share with everyone? And that's what we're doing today because Archangel Ariel is a really interesting angel to work with. You may not hear about that one as often as some of the main ones that you hear about a lot, like with Michael. Um, Michael comes up a lot and has been coming up a lot because of fear and feeling protected and safe and you don't want, you know, when you're working through things like that. Raphael is a angel of healing, but also Archangel Ariel is as well. And it could be pronounced Ariel. Um, I say Ariel, but you know, it's just the way, you know, we, we pronounce things, but the name means lioness of God. And I really loved that because lioness of God, that's, that represents courage to me. So you see that lioness, that fearlessness, and how perfect is that for everything that we were feeling coming in with the recent equinox energy and the full moon we just had a few days ago because that brought in Aries to just go and be fearless. However, we don't want to be tapping into the shadow side of that aspect because it can be impatient or aggressive. We want to be proactive, move forward, but it benefit us in our growth and ascension. And we want to heal some things that maybe 
were ways we responded to things before. Maybe we could discover what that is. So I really loved it. Now, a lot of people have been responding in the chats or writing that they've been picking up a lot of information or finding synchronicities in nature in animals. So that's why we're working with Ariel today. Ariel very much can help you with that connection if that's a natural way for you to connect. For me, it is. So it makes perfect sense. Um, when I just let nature speak and I listen, you would be, it's amazing what can come through. It's just amazing. And you have things that'll line up in a certain order. And then you'll have things that will, you just move you through. And if you look at what you have going on in your life and you've asked a question, for me, nine times out of 10, honestly, it lines up. I mean, you know, I don't want to be so, so assumption to say 100%, but it really does feel like it to me. It feels like 99.99.99 99 and a half to me. Um, and I trust it because it's pure and it's real and it's the energy of what we've asked to receive. It's the energy of what we are allowing to come back to us. And, and it's just beautiful. So, you know, peop some people, you know, like, hey, I'm not into that, you know, that's fine. If you're not, you're not, but, but for the people that are, you're going to really resonate with this. If you resonate with animals or you're an animal lover, activist, whatever, or nature, um, you, you holistic garden, or you want to take care of the environment, but not even just if you're not even aware of a lot of that, you just like being outside. Maybe you just feel better outside. Maybe you feel better in the sun or along a walk along the water, like a natural large body of water, like the ocean, a lake, things like that. Ariel is really a, an angel of protecting and healing a lot of that. So I found that interesting right after we had the recent flooding in my area just south of us. And we're still having riptide currents and coastal flooding here. I mean, when you live near the water like that, it's part of what you live with but not every every aspect and every every spot does that there's the trouble spots but there's a lot going on with all that going on you know and and when i looked into that earth is healing and ascending and purging things too right okay so if you're in alignment with that and we're working together with earth nature type of thing it makes more sense. There's a flow of energy. Um, I heard a phrase a long time ago. I really wish I could remember where I heard it, but it made so much sense because with energy, energy, the natural way for energy to move is forward. It's not to stay stagnant. It's not to just stay the way it is forever. It's not to be reversing and going backwards and be in the past. It's a very good way to relate to past, present, future. But if you think about it, the, really the only option to work with energy and be aligned with it is to go forward with it, to move with it, not try to go against it. And that is part of what can cause some of the bumps for us. Because if we are trying to hold on to something that was or is falling away or um, we, we don't want nothing to change. That's when things can feel a little bumpy because of the resistance that we have to move forward with things. When there's a lot of change going on, it can feel like that a little bit. When you realize, wait, what can I do to work with this and harm anymore? You'll find some solutions that way. Nature has a lot of answers for us right now, because if you notice things are behaving differently. I even was seeing, you know, just temperatures, um, uh, the behavior of the animals, behavior of the, um, the animals in the sea, like the sharks and things like that. Uh, th things are just changing. They're evolving. They're shifting. They're, they're acclimating to shift and change. But what are we doing? Are we doing that? So that's something good to look at. So who is, let me say this quickly here, just to give you an overview, who is Archangel Ariel. Now, like I said, the name means lioness of God and it's a nature and healing angel. And if you are looking to work and connect with that 
message that comes from spirit in the natural world, in nature, in plants, animals, things like that, the environment. Ariel can help you with that connection. It's a beautiful bridge that, and, and to me, she has a feminine energy. They're genderless. Keep that in mind. All angels are. They're genderless. But some may feel more of a feminine energy because we have this duality thing here. So, but I, so I will refer as she, but it's because it's a nurturing angel and that's a feminine energy. Uh, but it, she ties and bridges together humanity, you know, nature and the spirit world. And I'm talking about not just angels, but the elementals, the, the ones that take care and oversee nature that they, they are also called fairies sometimes with that. Um, you have people that have crossed over or animals that have crossed over that have been your pets in the past. They can actually come and help you. And I've been feeling some of that as well. I mean, we have a cat that passed away. Um, it'll be, well, it's I, over a year and a half. It'll be two years coming up in January that we she passed away. She was 18. Um, that was Emmy's BFF, you know, and we've been feeling her so strong around the house in the last week. And Emmy is seeing, feeling her and the behavior you can tell. And, you know, you wonder why are they, why are they coming around? Why are we feeling that? Because sometimes it's literally just to let you know that loved ones, including pets or people that are on the other side, they want you to know you're loved, you're supported, you're not by yourself in whatever it is you're going through, no matter what that is. And, you know, we sometimes feel alone, but we're not necessarily. And I'm going to go into a whole lot more of this. Now, if you need courage for self-healing, Ariel can help with that as well. So these are the types of things we're going to go over today. We have a few things going over in the chat. Wow, I can see you guys over there. Good morning. Good morning to David. Good morning to Kelly. Uh, Sharon, hello. Good morning. Good morning to Raven Wolf. And wow, I see a few things over there to read. So what I'm going to do... And so I'm going to take a break in a moment, go catch up and read that. So put it in there, whatever you have. And then when we come back from the break, I'm going to start diving into about how this angel works. And some of the amazing, to me, it's one of the most gentle, non-intimidating ways to work with spirit is to work with nature and allow messages to come in that way. So I love that. Archangel Ariel has come forward for this show to help all of us that are feeling that because sometimes it just feels good to learn something in a gentle way, you know, instead of the school of hard knocks. <laughs> and that's what it's been feeling like lately. So that's what we're talking about. Who is Archangel Ariel and how can she help you or anything you may be going through in life and connecting to nature and spirit world? So I'm going to take that short break. When we come back, we will power on. Stay with us. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening or watching The Jen Royster Show. We will be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information.
Welcome back to the show. Now they've been sharing over in YouTube chat. They've been sharing what they've been seeing and we have a few people connecting with nature over there. We have, let's see, Kelly says she, oh, wait a minute, let me back up. Raven says she was getting messages from animals, bugs, and birds. Cool. See, you know, when you're not afraid to check it out, it's way cool. I know. Kelly uh, has always connected with the lioness energy. Good for you, Kelly. Candace, hawks. She's seeing hawks everywhere, flying overhead all the time, flying over the car. Her daughter is giving them names. Flash, Hawkeye, Strider. It's odd. <laughs> well, hawks have a keen sense of view, okay? They can see further out. Birds in general are messages, you know, big time anyway, but that's kind of interesting. They have a keen sense of, you know, uh, to see clearly further out. So I found that kind of interesting for you as well. Um, the lioness, like we said, that's courage, courage in whatever it is you need to do for yourself. It's kind of a self healing thing with the courage. It's like an inner self courage to heal whatever it is that's been holding you back that that's an issue that needs to be resolved and be released and move on david is saying that he saw his first ever cave cricket in his tub i am 53 didn't know what it was had to google it huge you know when you say cave cricket it makes me think of a mole cricket and they were really big two or three inches I used to see those all the time down in Georgia, Florida, and they were kind of light colored because they lived under the ground. They were underneath like cicadas. Um, I don't know what a cave cricket is. <laughs> That's a new one to me too. Oh my goodness. And let's see. And you know, because it's so unique, that would make me start diving in and learning everything I could about that because that is how you figure out and decipher why did that show up for you? So that's what I would ask. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, Sharon has seen grasshoppers and crickets. Dreamed about a passed away dog with my current dog. Oh, dreamed that a passed away dog was my current dog. Daisy is 14. Sandy passed six months before Daisy was born. Oh, wow. Um, and oh wow and she's asking if ariel sees anything with dog daisy mm, daisy is 14. a lot of times it could be that daisy is connecting with a previous pet and that's very normal what that's the first thing that came to me i was asking ariel about that and honestly it's a gentle comfort, especially for a dog that's 14 or getting older. Like my dog is going to be nine next month. And they, they shift and change and settle into where they are in life too. Um, I'm not seeing anything that's a concern or anything like that. That's not what they're showing me. I'm showing that there's a connection and a support and just you know, they're connected. They're, they're, they're friends. It feels like there's a friendship there. And, and that's what it is. I mean, my dog keeps seeing my cat and they were close from two years ago. She passed. And I mean, it's been very, very strong. I feel in the last week with that energy of the moon. So don't overanalyze is why I'm, this is what's coming in. Thank you for that, Ariel. Thank you so much. Is they're all connecting a little bit more. So it's not like, you know, individual as much as it is, we're all feeling a unique one differently because we're feeling it all the time with everything all of a sudden. So that tells me that, you know, I guess they used to, it's a, it's a way of saying it, the veil is thinner to where we have more of an interaction with a different dimension, which I, you know, that happens at full moons too, remember? And then also we are ascending and, and we are shifting and we're going through a big thing here and we have support coming from other dimensions that, you know, it's kind of nice to acknowledge it. It's not just going to be from, and to be honest, if you think about it, is it really going to come from a third dimensional mindset that doesn't understand any of this? Not really. Um, people can be polite and patient, but you know, and they can be, okay, I'm sorry you're going through that, but do they really understand? 
maybe, maybe not. You can't blame them for that if that's not where they are. It's not that we're better than them. It's just everybody's on a different place with that. So I did want to mention that. And so let me go into a little bit about Ariel because Ariel has so much to share here. Now, like I said, you know, they all feel, all angels are, you know, it's really a genderless thing because in that dimension, there's no need for the difference between masculine and feminine energy. Remember, we all have that within ourselves, but we see this separation in this dimension here. But Ariel always comes to me when I need courage or, or to show and support the courage that I want to connect to when I want to move out of the comfort zone or if I want to move into something different or, or I just want to heal and release something. And I said she works very closely with Raphael. And for those that don't know who Raphael is, uh, Raphael is, you know, a healing angel, very much a healing angel, very much associated and called sometimes the physician of heaven. When, and it's not just healing physical. It's healing emotional, mental, no matter what that is, relationship, whatever that type of healing is. So the two of them together is pretty cool because Nature's just a great way to find healing and to find a place of comfort and solstice. Just think about what, how comforting and soothing it is to go and sit and just listen to the waves crashing on the ocean or sit in a park on a bench on a peaceful day or to go meditate somewhere out in nature in your favorite spot, you know, wherever you might be. There's something that just happens and you can't explain it. Just sitting under a tree and grounding will pull and transmute all that energy that you need to release, that you need to clear out of your own chakras. It will transmute it out. It won't hurt earth because that's a, that's a method of clearing your chakras to go sit anchor near a tree and then it will pull it all out and it just, you know, into the earth and it transmutes it. It will not hurt earth like that. It's different. It's kind of a way of clearing. I mean, crystals come from earth. We use crystals. It's really a cool way to heal and find peace and comfort and to de-stress, which is a healing thing to do, by the way. Do you ever really realize that de-stressing, taking that moment to meditate and calm yourself is a healing method? It's probably one of the most powerful things you can do. So Ariel, Ariel oversees the healing, and if you're wanting to connect, it oversees healing with nature, animals, things like that. If you have something going on with a pet, if you have something going on in your yard, and you know, what if you have unexpected visitors like the cave cricket that David was mentioning? Or for me, and I kind of like this, I've had something different every week and I've been keeping a journal in order Okay, I've, I, you know, I had the cicadas hanging out, just sitting with me. I had hummingbirds, I had butterflies, I had the, the, the grasshopper. We had, what else we have? Um, the praying mantis. Then we had, I mean, just it kept going on and on. Well, this week, and it's very cool, we have a huge, huge writing spider creating an incredibly intricate web and those are big spiders and when you first see them you're like whoa but this one you know they they're the ones that create those incredible designs in the web and you know some people are really scared of spiders but spiders have a lot of information they can give you too that's a creative one that's when creative or writer um intricate getting into the details you know look at all that they're like engineers like mechanical engineer. I mean, the way they can put something together. I mean, spiders in general, the way they make a web is miraculous to me. So we have one too, and it's a pretty big one. I mean, those things are two or three inches. They're big. I don't know if they're in all areas of the world, um, but and I usually see them around this time of year, but not not where this one is, you know, like not right up in here, up close, you know, like right at the garage. I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> Usually they're out in the woods or, you know, out on the net nature trails or something like that. So they come in and, you know, if it's 
popping up and you're stumbling over it like that, it's a message for you. You want to look into that. I mean, sometimes it's just the feathers, the different colored feathers. Sometimes it's, um, gosh, I mean, we could go on and on with that. But Ariel, Ariel will help you connect with any of those elementals of nature. I mean, anything like that. Um, gnomes, fairies, elves, sprites, sprites, I know, animals, crystals, minerals, the air, the elements, any of that, if that is something that you want to have a better understanding of and you want to heal and that's your approach, work with Archangel Ariel. And Ariel is as simple as asking. And you know, sometimes we feel like, oh, I don't know, you know, people think I'm silly or something. Well, I know I've been there and done that before, but now it just doesn't matter because I'm, I'm receiving more I receive so much comfort just from being out in nature. It's amazing. Um, when you ready to listen to it and allow it to flow in, and if you are going through something tough, okay, and I have actually a couple of emails that will uh, will address with that because there's some information in there that I want to share with you. Um, so one of the things that she does through nature is a restorative type of energy. We have to be in a place to be ready to have that courage for that self healing that we need. That's how they help. That's how this angel helps people, the human humanity. I mean, because they're more, because she's more aligned with nature, animals, you know, the environment, she's not just that. She can also help you when you need the courage to heal from something really tough. And we had an email that I do want to address right now because it goes right in line with this. So let me get to that email. I have two or three in here. And by the way, one of them was a really quick short note for you guys over in YouTube. Marilyn, of course, is working and she says, hi, Dr. Jen, I missed you. Thank you for your love. And she's watching the show at night when she gets off work and she's saying hello. So here's this one, um, where, oh, here it is. Uh, Melissa writes, oh, I feel divine timing here. I'm in need of personal healing. Physically, I've created a rectal tumor and another in my womb area, heart and lungs. Ooh, I know I'm still suffering intense grief and losing my son, and yet I want to proceed with life. He wants me to as well. Um, her son, um, I can feel his presence now. We were both so connected to nature. Okay, there we go. I can see this being a synchronicity for you, Melissa. And he connects that way. So having a beautiful angel to help me get strong and healthy to continue so I can help others would be blessing to support me on my life of ascension and evolution. I heard an eagle as I write this. Oh, I just got to chill with that. Wow, an eagle. I'm outdoors, of course, where I am at home, and also a maple marvel on me and attached in my hair. Oh, can you please share a message for me today? Love and blessings of gratitude. Well, first of all, yes. And Melissa, yes, you have, and she's acknowledging that. She's like, I physically created these different tumors in my body. She's already acknowledging that she's in intense grief of losing her son and they both connected in nature. What a beautiful, wow, what a beautiful angel Ariel can be for you right now because you both can connect and Ariel can help with that healing because really with your son, it's the physical that you miss in the relationship. Of course, we miss the physical relationship when someone crosses over, but... Ariel can help you develop a beautiful connection with your son through nature and with Archangel Raphael to help you with healing your body. So this is like the three in one. Okay. It's like a, let's just cover all the bases. And oh my gosh, I do feel a lot of excitement 
and a beautiful thing for you for the eagle and and a maple marvel i've never heard of that one i'm not sure what that is um to be coming to you and just for you to be sitting out in nature and sh and acknowledging you're aware so now you're looking for and archangel raphael will come into this as well because he raphael can nudge you gently with things you can do to change and improve because the physical world once we've did, you know have things on the manifesting of the physical working on the energy is going to be huge for you in healing and just reconnecting and putting that focus not on the loss but this development of the new way your relationship will go in nature is going to help with the energy part and then you work on healing your body with what the physical need needs to be whatever that treatment might be or whatever you're doing there but this is actually a beautiful divine timing for you melissa and um gosh i'm just sending a lot of love and blessings to you because i think that this is going to be a very beautiful and comforting way for you to know that you're not alone that people that we love that have crossed over are there that love never dies it crosses all boundaries we are just learning how to have a relationship in a different way i relate very much to that with nature when when my father passed away he used peacocks i know that's kind of a long story and yeah you've probably heard me say it before if you've been listening for a while but he used peacocks and they were you know landing in the middle of his funeral service <laughs> on the top of his house and you know, I mean, it was just he was letting us know he was there and we knew it was related to him it was just there was something about them and i and that was a few years ago i think in 08 but you know the connection was there he was clearly present and he was letting himself be known and it was humorous it was beautiful um, so just just enjoy the process of learning a new type of way of relating and connecting and this is not keeping someone bound here this is not um, it's not a we have to let go that and, and just keep this clear we are letting go that someone has is not here in the physical world anymore but their soul never dies and if you connected in nature i'm sure he has sent plenty of things especially birds when they're coming over they're watching over think about it they're the birds or the angels are kind of related where we're watching over you and a lot of our loved ones will use a bird of some sort if we look up you know the behaviors and different things that birds you know the different types of species do it helps decipher the message and there's hundreds of that we have big manuals of stuff that other you know biologists and you know environmentalists and all that have done so you can look up those behaviors that way now that that is so cool because you know your healing is beginning it already has begun i want you to know that melissa and that's what i'll follow up with and so we have another email that's also related to this that I'm gonna go ahead and share now. And for those of you that are like, what is this email bag? That is something that's with the um, newsletter that goes out once a week. They have a little link in there and they, I have one, one newsletter a week that puts out the announcement of the show or anything that we're doing, updates, the new group we're developing that you guys had suggested, things like that. We put that into the newsletter. I only send one a week. I'm not one to send constant emails and bog you down. I'm gonna put everything in one right now. I mean, the only time I would send an extra one is if I need to, because I don't like too many of them either. I just like, here you go. And that's up to you if you want that. That's over on my website if you wanna sign up for that. Some people are writing in because they can't be present, they work, so, but they're still part of our show family. So this one came in and this one's really cool. This one you're gonna love. And what's really interesting is how it timed out to not be read until this show. This is from Skyla and Skyla wrote this in. She sent it into the email bag before the hurricane when we had to suddenly cancel that week. So that was two weeks ago and we had to put that one off and we did not do any email bag last week 
So we got to this one, and then when I realized what she was asking, after I put what we were talking about, so here she goes. She says, you talk a lot about the angels, especially Raziel and Gabriel lately, and even Metatron. How cool to learn about that one. Well, my office manager here at work, a small nonprofit agency, has healing angel cards that come in a box, and you place your left hand over the cards. You close your eyes, and you pick a random card out of the bunch that just speaks to you. Sometimes it's a specific angel card. Sometimes it's a word like faith or trust or forgiveness. Always with a message. I did this every day for two months and something happened enough times that it made me think something is up here. I repeatedly would draw the card Archangel Raphael. You have talked about him in the past, but do you work with him at all? Well, yes, we do. If you have some, and I bet you do, would you be so kind as to offer your insight on him? Such as what messages does he bring? What are the details or specifics about him? I know Gabriel can protect. What does Raphael do for us? He is our healing angel, physician of heaven, which we have been referring to in the show. We'll do a little bit more of a specific show on him too, though, because he's working with Ariel. That's why he's tying in here. I don't want to ramble on any longer, but through the help of your show, I have been more open to earth messages and the feelings I suddenly feel. And I feel I have received several messages that Raphael is my angel. Oh, wow. I also want to include, as I mentioned earlier, being open to the earth's and angel messages, animals bring so many messages to me. From a frog jumping on my car one day, a hummingbird, which I've never seen one in 26 years of my life so far. Okay, that's significant. Um, I was on a very busy road and a duck flew right above my windshield. Kind of freaked me out, it was so close. It is so cool that when you welcome these things and are open to them and pay attention and open your eyes to life's beauty, they happen again and again. I have found so much joy in reading about the animal messages. They can bring such lessons and clarity. And then she's got in parentheses, another word from your most recent show and can help direct me into different paths with the messages each of them brings. I love it. Thank you in advance. Now, here's the funny part. She was asking about Raphael before she listened to that show a few weeks ago. Then she sends back a follow-up when we were letting her know it would be moved over to this one. And she says, I sent my note a little too soon. <laughs> This is great because I am currently in the midst of listening to her most recent show. Now we're talking about a week or so ago. So maybe include this too. Did she, she did mention Raphael in the most recent show. I should have listened in full before sending my note, but how crazy cool I thought about it. And it came up. She mentions his relation to the color green. And what is crazy is I have been obsessed with the color green lately. That's true. Green is a healing renewal color, and that's why a lot of times he's associated with the color green. And I am usually a kind of red, a red kind of gal, but always, but anyway, she did mention Raphael in her recent show, but if she does want to go into extra detail sometime, that would be wonderful. And I just wanted to mention that because that's the synchronicity and the beauty. We might be focusing on Ariel in this show, Raphael's tied into that. We may be focusing on Metatron. Michael will step in. That happens all the time because they're a team. They work together. And a lot of times, Raphael and Michael work together. Well, Raphael also works with Ariel as well with healing. Because if you are looking at the many vast, I mean, if you want a plethora of spirit messages and connection, nature's the way to go. It really is nature and animals because they're open. They're not afraid of it. They're not going to shut it down. And it's simple and it's gentle. I mean, a bird landing um, to sit by you at a chair, you're sitting right there. I've had hummingbirds just come and sit right there with me. 
uh, the cicada did the same thing for like three days in a row with us. Um, you know, little things like that, if you start to put that little story together, you're going to find amazing information. You will continually find it. Ariel, when it comes to courage, one of the things with the courage can be about not being afraid what everybody else thinks because you're tapping into nature and animals for these connections, whether it's an insect, a spider web, and spider webs are so cool. There's so much information in when a spider has messages like, oh, it's so cool. And I am also seeing that over in the chat, looks like sacred geometry on spider webs. Yeah, you can, absolutely. That synchron, yes, very good point to bring up. And May, let's see, we have someone else. Um, uh, Kelly is asking, may I ask Ariel what I need to have the courage to self-heal in my life? You know what? Yes, of course you can ask that. The, you know what? I'm going to think about that for a moment because I do have to take a break. When I come back, I'm going to ask while we're on the break and come back with that one because I need to take a break. We already skipped one and I do need to take a break, grab a sip of water. But then when we come back, we'll keep going. And if you have anything else, please put it out there. I'm Dr. Jen. We're li you're listening to The Jen Royster Show or you might be watching our video live stream. We will be right back after the break. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information.
Welcome back to the last segment. Now, we've been talking about Ariel and this connection. And boy, have I got some information for you, Kelly. Kario, Kelly had asked, may I ask Ariel what I need to have the courage to self-heal in my life, okay? So here's the thing with Ariel. Yes, nature, healing, but she has a few things up her sleeve. Um, she can also help with abundance, prosperity, manifestation, and seeing past the illusion of this 3D world. Now, when it comes to, yes, she can help you with prosperity, okay? Abundance and prosperity and manifesting isn't just in a dollar sign. It is, and she can, but her focus can be more on connecting you into that divine true self that you are. And when you really embrace and heal the self-criticism, and this is what I just, I'm feeling for you, Kelly, because even as light workers and people that have been connected in this, it's happened to me too, we can be hard on ourselves because we wanna be so, hear me out, we wanna be so authentic that we can almost get caught in a trap of criticizing that we're not being good enough. Do you, I know you know what I mean, because if you look out in this world and people are being accused of being fake and this and that and this and that, and you're like, I don't want them to think I'm fake. You know, you just, you need to, you need to bring it in. You need to reel it back in. I'm really feeling this might be a little bit of the thing for you with Ariel because it's unique, it's specific. And bringing that in and just knowing well, they may think I am, but I know I'm not. And you're real for who you are. I had to overcome that too. Because, you know, some people just think this is crazy stuff and they don't believe in it. And that's okay. They don't have to. And this is not the show for them. I, you know, move on. Go find something else. Work with what works for you. But what I don't want is to hold back and repress the truth and the joy and the messages that I'm receiving and I receive these and I have worked with them for years and they may or may not resonate with you, but I'm still delivering them wholeheartedly from my heart to you because that's the truth of the joy that I want to share. I don't want to be selfish with something that has helped me. And if I worried about, oh, you know, they're just, you know, that that's what I'm feeling a little bit. And maybe that was something from the past and you overcame it. Maybe it's coming back up or you reflect on it recently. It's something to do with that. Okay. And just that's what I'm feeling. And so she, let me see if she's responded to that. Um, she's saying, Jen, that's how I found you. Our angel Raziel came to me and I wanted to find more information about that angel. I'm so glad I was guided to your YouTube channel. Well, we are too. That was from Raven. Um, and Kelly, this is way we're answering Kelly's question. Kelly's saying, definitely authenticity is very important to me and I've been judging myself a lot. Don't you love how that works? See, I'm telling you, and you are so welcome. Ariel, that's what came through for you on that one. So Ariel can help us with our authentic self. And what better way to do that with nature? Nature, you're, you're keeping it real. I mean, if you think about animals, and I, I, I can relate to a dog or a cat, they either like you or they don't, and they don't pretend. You know, everything is about a truth and a reality. You can tell. You know, and it's like young children, you know, young children, they don't pretend anything. Okay. Nature is going to keep it real. It's going to keep it real. It's going to be a pure place to clear energy off, to restore your energy. She's also about restorative energy and to find that peace and balance and that connection to all of life, because that's where we're ascending to, is to feel a connection to everything, not the separation, you know, the separated feeling, the isolated feeling, the judgment feeling. You're not gonna feel that there. It's accepting, it's, it's, it's all of it. It's all of the above. Even though they will be their truth, they will also accept. And there's no judgment of things like that. 
So I think Ariel is going to help you a lot. And I'm just thinking that's so cool. Now, if you guys are just tapping in or this is something new to you, just start keeping a journal because we're about to wrap up. I don't want to run out of time here. Keep a journal of the different interesting things that are popping up for you whether it's you know out in nature or you're seeing the same animal or insect or or something pops up or it's in your house or outside whatever um oh and guess what we saw yesterday too we saw a fox ah yeah those are hard they don't just let you see them you know fox they don't just don't let you see them but we did we saw the fox and i I am over the moon and I'm like a little kid that's so excited and I have like joy that just fills me when I see things in nature. So for me, yes, this is absolutely a natural way to connect. It's a non-intimidating way to connect. And if you're looking for answers and a personal healing and peacefulness to restore, to balance, because right now with all the energy going on in the shifts, we do want to remember to meditate. We do want to remember to ground. We do want to remember to restore ourselves and find that balance. And this is a great way to do it. Now, if you're ready, if you're ready for shifting and aligning with energy that will always move forward, this is a gentle way to do it. Uh, Archangel Ariel can help you. Remember, working with, alongside with Raphael. Raphael can heal in many ways and also help you with finding things, medicine, uh, alternatives, um, new doctors, replace it, whatever it is you got to do uh, physically too. Raphael can do that. Uh, just ask, just simply say, what is it that I need to see or understand? And, and then if you start to receive the messages and you're going, I think this is what it means. It's okay to ask for a couple of validations or synchronicities. It may be two, three different things, but they all go together. Or it might be the same thing three times in a row. Or it could be that duck that flies really low right in front of your car, like Skyla was talking about. I mean, you would be surprised at the things that will come your way. And, and they'll come your way in a surprise. And it's like magic. It really is. And this is the part that I love about it. It never gets old for me. It never does. Remember, Ariel will always radiate love. All angels do, but it's just a gentle, non-intimidating way to learn and find support and love. And, you know, we had the, we had the email that came in about, you know, she's healing and she's got some physical things going on and she lost her son. This is some, one of the most beautiful messages I've ever seen with a synchronicity was for Melissa. And so I have a lot of joy in my heart flowing out to that. I want to thank everyone that's been with us in the, in the live stream chat. It's always awesome when you guys are over there and interacting. And I want to say thank you so much. And we said, um, let's see, really quick, really quick. Uh, Raven is saying, oh my God, Jen, you are the third person who says to write a journal. <laughs> Ah, that's awesome. See, another synchronicity. Sharon's like a fox walk down our sidewalk two weeks ago. Love it. And guys, thank you guys for being with us today. Uh, I, I just love it. We're, we're starting to have this powwow on Thursdays that's just fun. And it's a joyful. We're all like-minded. It's beautiful. And we're going to build on it. We're working on it, so hang in there, guys. And thanks so much for tuning in today and being with us here on The Jen Royster Show. We will see you next time and enjoy your journey with Archangel Ariel. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. 
Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.